Okay. There are set, the seventh group element is 2147, which is 113 times 19, is the total frequency of the HM or Hamim in the seven HM initial chapters in the Quran, which is 4246. Okay? There are seven of them, and that's the seventh element, 2147. That happens to be the total number of frequency of those in those seven initial chapters. Note that seven of these group elements are also prime, highlighted in blue. Okay. So, then the other group elements divisible by 19 is the 17th element, which is 4712, and 2147 plus 4712 is equal to 6859, which is 19 times 19 times 19. Okay. The 19th group element is 7124, and its index is, it, is 6211. Chapter 62 in the Quran has 11 verses. 70, 71, chapter 71. One, verse 24, which is the 19th group element of that table, is the 2698th verse in the uninitial chapters in the Quran, and 2698 is the number of frequency of the word God in the entire Quran. <coughs> now, uh, chapter 42, remember, it has the, on, the only chapter in the Quran that has two sets of emissions, not just one. 42.1 and 42.2. Uh, Hamim. Ain Sin Gaf or H M A A S Q. Okay. Uh, now, the number of verses from 1 1 to 42 1 is exactly 4,271 verses. Okay. And now remember now that 4271 is the 114 twin prime, which is the number of chapters in the Quran. Okay. The number of frequency of H M in the cha in chapter 42 is actually 353, and that happens to be the 71st prime number. So we are back to 4271. Surah 71 happens to be the 42nd uninitial chapter in the Quran. And the index of 42 is 28, and chapter 71 actually has 28 verses. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Verse 7124, which was the 19th permutation of 1247, happens to be 1824th revealed verse in the uninitial chapters. And 1824 is equal to 96, 19, 96 times 19, but chapter 96 has 19 verses. The digits of 1, 8, and 2, 4 are the indices of prime number 2, 19, 3, and 7. The first prime number is 2, the eighth prime is 19, the third prime, uh, I'm sorry, the, the, two, uh, the third prime is, uh, uh, number 3 is, uh, its index is 2, and the fourth prime is seven, okay? And these numbers, two times three times seven times nine is 798. 790 is the sum of the frequency of the initials kaf, ya, ayin, sad. I put it here, I spelled it out here, in chapter 19, okay? So you see those four digits, one, two, four, seven, gives you so much information about the structure of the Quran. Now, positional advent prime, remember I showed you this table here, and now let's concentrate on 1998, uh, 521, 619, and 114, and these two lines here. And I go to the next uh, slide, and I describe it to you. Uh, I, just, I just grab those two lines, 1998, 521, and 619. Immediately, you see Surah 99, chapter 9, I'm sorry, chapter 19 has 98 verses. Note that 619 happens to be the 114 prime number, you see, corresponding to 19 over this 19, and 114 is the number of surahs or chapters in the Quran. Rank 114, the number that this one, surah is the chapter in the Quran which is the com corresponds to the 808 prime plus is prime, which is 6211, and chapter 62 has 11 verses. Furthermore, 521 times 19 is 9899 is the frequency of initial A plus L plus M, or Aleph La Mim, in the first initial surah, which is chapter 2. So you see, line 19 gives us so much information about the structure of the Quran. Okay, now we look at these twin prime companions, and I want to look at this one here. 520 first one, and look what happens. 
The 521st TPC is 33768. The number 3368 is a concatenation of a prime and its index. In other words, 68th prime is 337. Note that 521 is associated with the count of initials in chapter 1 because 521 times 19 will give you 9899. Okay. Initial surah and 68 happens to be the last initial chapter in the Quran. So this corresponds to the first one, the first initial chapter, this corresponds to the last initial chapter. So it turns out that two permutations of 1, 2, 5 are 1, 2, and 5 are 251 and 521, they're both primes. And their indices happens to be 54 and 98. And 54 and 98 is actually equal to 152, which is 8 times 19. But remember now, 8th prime number is number 19. But look over here. Remember 337 and 68? Okay, let's see how they're connected. We also know that 337 in base 10 is equal to 521 in base 8. Remember that communications I was telling you about? And we have to listen to people to see their point of view? Okay. All right. So the number of verses from 1-1 to 1998 are 2,346. But 1990 is the index of composite 2346. And chapter 19 has 98 verses. 2, 3, 4, 6 can be actually factored out into 23 times 2 times 3 times 17. Remember I said this is one of those composites that they can be factored out into primes? Okay. The indices of these prime factors are 9, 1, 2, 7. And this was a friend of mine, Milan Sok, that noted this first. Okay. And you write the permutation of these one, and you notice that the 19th group element is 9127, and chapter 9 actually has 127 verses. Okay. So, now remember that I said something about that sometimes you see relations between uh, these uh, uh, tables, permutation table, and the primes. So it turns out that there are 11 group elements that are prime in that table that I just showed you. I highlight them in red. And the 11th prime happens to be 31, but 1131st prime is the 19th group element, which is 9127. In other words, 1131st prime is 9127. But that comes from the number 11, which is the number of actual number of prime numbers in that, in that permutation group structure. So note that the digital, digital sum of these four digits also add up to 19. 9 plus 1 plus 2 plus 7 is 19. All right, from 1-1 one, one to 9-1-2-7, there are 1,362 verses in the Quran. And the index of composite 1,362 is actually 1,143. So in other words, 1,143rd composite is 1,362. But 1,143 is 9 times 1-2-7. See, from 1-1 one, one to 9-1-2-7, back to 9-1-2-7. So again, this is Milan's uh, private communication. And now, look at this. Permutation group property of 2346. Permutation group property of four digits 2346. So you write them down, it yields 24 four digit numbers. And so the first one is 2346, which is the number of verses from 1 1 from the beginning of the Quran until the end of chapter 19. Okay, over this 19. The 19th group element happens to be 6234. 6234 is the total number of verses in the Quran. So you can think of it this way, which one generated which one? Okay? The fact that the Quran has 6234 uh, generates the, the other fact that the number of verses from 1-1 to 1998 is supposed to be 2346, or that one generates actually the total number of uh, verses in the Quran. Okay? So you see the interlink here? Uh, all right. So here I said it's generators. The 19th group element, 6234, is the total number of verses in the Quran. 6234 also tells us that chapter 62 is the 34th uninitial chapter in the Quran. So you see, when, when you see those, those, either when I showed the order of where they are in the Quran, in the compilation and revelation, for both the initial chapter and uninitial chapter in total, there's a reason for that. Okay? They are not there just by accident. Chapter 62 is not the 34th uninitial chapter in the Quran by accident. It's because of this, because this 19th permutation of 6234. 
equal two, three, four, six. 